Hey everybody, welcome back to our Anno 1404 game. When we left off, we had just got the capabilities of starting to make indigo and carpets and all, but a more pressing concern, is this my ship? Yes it is, it is the swordfish. Much more pressing concern for us is what's going on back here at home in Gelfdon. We have a problem in Gelfdon in that we are running out of cider, and we are need to establish beer. Let's see what's going on here. Good storage full, good storage full. So we've got plenty of... That's the Weaver's Hut. We have plenty of apples. This is the apple orchard. No, that's the hemp plantation. Where's my orchard at? Hmm. cider because I don't have a cider plantation? Doesn't make sense. What do we got over here on this island? Anything? No. Alright, there, there we go. I knew we had an orchard somewhere. Yeah, there's our cider farm and it's working away just as hard as it can. So we need to throw down a, another one. We'll do that right now. Let's see here. Pick that up. How many we're gonna need? Four. And that honestly should be enough room, probably right here. Hmm, that's gonna be difficult. Come over here on this side. Isn't that just a crappy location, isn't it? Alright, we will go right here. Um, I think that's going to be enough room. We should be able to squeeze all four of them in. Let's see what we can do. One, two, three, and four. Good. Now let's connect them up by road. All honest fact, what kind of road we want to connect them up with is the um, cobblestone road. That will help our production if we can get them produce moving faster, bringing stuff to market a lot quicker. That's what we'll throw down here. Good. Excellent. Now, just maybe, that'll help out with our cider problem here. Alright, one ton of cider. We're going to keep our eye on this. They're producing at 100%. They're producing at 100%. So we'll keep our eye on it. We may need to throw down a third or a fourth farm, even. In fact, with our population climbing the way it is, that is probably a good idea. Eighty of eighty peasants, four hundred and ten of four hundred and twenty citizens. Are they set? Yeah, let's lower y'all down so y'all can fill up y'all's ranks. God is smiling upon us. And where are we on our patriarchs? Twenty-five of twenty-five. So we'll boost but the taxes back up of the citizens as soon as they fill up all their houses. Alright, much better. I think we may have to move our next cider farm. I think there may be enough room for one more. Squeeze in a couple of things here. And then we'll have to move them somewhere else. If for no other reason the fact that we will have uh, overwhelmed that goods depot. Now, to do the same thing, we want to continue upgrading these roads. To make sure everything gets picked up at, at good speed. Alright, check this one. What's he hooked up to? Is that a depot? That's a market building. That's the ropery, okay. There we go. Now, 
all of our production buildings here should be hooked up and working quite well as fast as we can get it on these cobblestone roads. Excellent. How are we doing for cider? Are we starting to increase any? No, we're not. You're bringing in another ton. You're bringing in another ton. So we're doing better. But we could definitely use one more cider farm. So that's what we'll go ahead and throw down. And let's plop it. Let's see. We need four fields. I think we can probably get four. Hmm. But if I put you here, we can squeeze four fields in there. Let's see. One, two. Can you turn it? If I turn you, will I be able to get a third and a fourth? Nope. Can't do. Right, once again, as we've said, easy mode has the advantages of that you can just take everything down get everything paid back. Instead of popping it there, we need to set it over here. That'll definitely give us enough room for our four. Where are we going to put y'all? One will be across the road. Right there. Two here, and our fourth one tucked right in there. Now let's get another couple road going in that direction. Good. In fact, we've got enough cobble road and enough stone. We're going to drop that all the way up here. Make sure it's well connected as well. Okay. Very good. That production chain should be doing okay now. Yep, and we got two things of cider. Three tons of cider. Very good, very good indeed. Alright, these guys are going to want beer. How much do I have to have to get them? I'm not sure. about beer until we get to 510 of them. So we are good to go there. And what is it that they require? They are wanting bread. They need to have a church. They need the beer, which is cool for the moment. And they need clothing. Fortunately, they're all adequately satisfied. So we don't have to rush to build these things until we get a lot more of them. We just need to make sure that the little lower level stay full and don't start running out again like what happened with the cider just now. Alright. So, let's come back over here. Looks like cider is going to do okay. Yep, it's climbing again. So let's come back over here and let's see what we're going to do as far as getting our carpet production going. If I remember right, we need carpet to take to the Corsairs, perhaps. And what did you want? Yep, yeah, there we go. We need to get a warship in exchange for three tons of carpet. So we need to wake up that now. We need to work on 10 tons of bread for F Brother Hilarious, and we need to find the hidden Corsair ship, which we found. It's apparently not the one that he's looking for. So now let's look into carpet production. Okay, so let's see how things are going over here on this side. We're looking good. We have all 300 of our nomads. How happy are they? They are doing all right. They are wanting need for prosperity. And what 
do they need for the prosperity? They're going to need carpets. Everybody's wanting carpets right now. So let's take a look at what we need to do for carpets. Carpets are going to take silk and indigo. So we're going to need a silk plantation. We have enough to build that. We're going to need an indigo farm. Do we have enough for... Do we have the right... We have silk and we have the indigo. Isn't that a coincidence? So why don't we go ahead and find a place that we can put down the silk plantation. Hmm. It's gonna be this. We're going to need another um, depot, I'm afraid. So why don't we go ahead and build one of those? A small market building. Fortunately, it has a huge radius. So we'll be able to pick up all this area. Drop it right here. Right here is a good spot. There we go. Now we'll be able to see about throwing down a silk plantation. Right. I wonder how many is this going to require? Five farms. Let's see if we can fit those in here. It'll be a tight fit, that's for sure. One, two, three, four, and production five. has been disrupted. Yes, I know. I know. got the silk will be coming in. Now we need to see about indigo. And we need two more tools for indigo. So, do we have someone parked over there? We should have the swordfish. Yes. Grab us some tools, my friend. Grab... Ooh. All of them. Let's not take all of them. Let's take half. Didn't realize we only had a capacity of only had a capacity of 40 in that warehouse. We'll send him over here. Now, how is the silk plantations up to 92%? That's not going to be as high as it can go, is it? It doesn't give us a maximum capacity here, so maybe we're going to be all right there. We might need to drop down another one of the, the uh, Norias here, over here on this side. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to 100% with that area right there, but hopefully we will. Looks like it's still locked at 92. Once again, this is just a scenario game. We're just trying to get all this stuff going so we can grab the children and make everyone happy. So once we can do that, it won't be that big a deal. All right, let's see if we can drop down an indigo farm now. This one's going to be difficult as well, fitting it in here. Maybe... Let's see if that will work. I don't know how big these farms are going to be. We need five of those. Good grief, people. Can we turn it sideways? Will it fit in there sideways? It will, but it doesn't really make that big a difference. One, two... Three... Four. Get there. Five. Oops. Sorry about that. Had my alarm set. 
was napping earlier and woke up, I noticed I got the uh, achievement for that as well. There's the I Can't Sleep achievement for starting a game between the hours of 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. It's one of the hidden achievements apparently in the game. And let's run that right over here as well. There we go. Does it give us a maximum anticipated productivity? 97%. Soap Farms, 92. Yeah, I got a feeling we need another Noria over here. Do we have the capability of building? Do we have enough, have enough items? We need more wood. Let's send you back home. You need to bring us back some more wood. That'll get those lumberjacks who are always complaining about the fact they don't have anything to do. Something to do. What's the Akari I keep bringing back? Y'all keep bringing back spices, don't you? Okay. I think if we drop another Noria right over here, hopefully that will... Whoa. Bones. Cool. Didn't notice those earlier. Hope nothing wandered out there and died. Swordfish. Right, this time I am going to fill up your hold with wood because Lord knows we've got enough of it. I'm tired of seeing the messages that the lumberjacks are full and have nothing to do. So why don't you bring it all back here? There you go. And now I expect to see y'all's little huts. Get busy working again. Come on, hurry it up. I guess we need some cobblestone roads down here as well. Just to keep their union from complaining. Not because we desperately need it to be so. tear down this little road. Why are you coming this way? Go down the nice pretty cobblestone street I built you. There you go. See how much faster that is? Good job. Swordfish should have arrived. Let's empty its hold. Plenty of wood now. And we can build another Noria. When does it need to be? Like with shift give us the borders? Shift uh, shift gives us the borders. So it right here. I guess there's a good number of overlap, but it should green this area up really nicely and get these two things so that they're producing much higher. 100% and 100%. Superb. Good. Now, we've got that going on. Let's see if we have enough that we can now put down the carpet factory. It's a carpet workshop. I'm going to drop you right here next to the others. And I think you should be on the edge of the road there, aren't you? You are. You get caught by the road right there, so we should see you filling up. Why haven't we gotten any indigo in yet? What are you doing? How come you're not picking up? I don't understand. Alright, we got plenty. It just hasn't been delivered to you yet, has it? Come on, come on. Speed it up. There we 
go. 3%, 4%. No productivity, 5, 6. All right. Good. So that's going to get our carpets going. Now, let us remember to come over here to our nomad camp and turn off their ability to have carpets. Because we want the first three tons. There you go. Click on them. They will not get any carpets now. We want the first three tons to go to the Sultan or to the Grand Vizier so we can get the Oriental Warship. And there's our first carpet. It just arrived. Fantastic. Two more tons and we are good to go. Let's bring you back over here to the warehouse. You get ready to pick up our stuff. Now, while he's sitting there looking at what we're waiting for the carpets to build up, I want to take a look. What do we need for bread production? Well, we're going to need some more fields. Let's see. Bread, bread, bread. We need a mill. We need a crop farm to produce wheat. Then we're going to need flour. And then we're going to need a bakery. We could probably put down the crop farm first. Where are we going to drop that at? Hmm. We could put it over here. That would be very good. Let's drop it right here. I hope. Alright, only three fields. We should be able to fit those in, no problem. One, two, and three. Good. And now, we can use that little corner of land, which is in a perfect spot. Stone Road connecting it as well. Back over to our Oriental town. We should have enough carpets now. We do four tons. Let's go ahead and pick up three of them. One, two, three. We've got the three we need. So now we can tell the nomads that they can start having their carpets start seeing their happiness rise as well. First of all, let's get them even tempered. They are a little too happy. And I want to come back over here and do the same with my citizens. They should be at the point now where we've got all of them as well, don't I? 420 of 420, right. So we'll make them even tempered again also. Good job. How's our cider holding up? Excellent. Cider's up to 37, so we have definitely solved the cider problem. Is everybody happy? Or should I say, is everyone content? Even tempered? Yes, they are. In fact, they y'all are euphoric. That is way too happy. There you go. You just disturb me when you're laughing. You look a little bit too much like Hellboy when you're doing that. And nobody wants to see Hellboy that happy. Okay. We've got our carpets. Let us go visit the Grand Vizier and see if he will drop us off a Oriental warship in return for them. Uh, back on the sea again. I missed it. Nice having salt spray in my face. 
don't see any good fishing today, though. Used to seeing the marlins and the sailfish jump about. Guess it must be the wrong time of the year. Maybe we're in a little too tropical of waters. Need something a little bit cooler for them, I would imagine. Let's see what our pretty new boat's gonna look like once we talk to the Grand Vizier here. Have you come about the ship? I have indeed. With Allah's blessing, you will defeat Hassan ben Said. All right. Yeah, that one does look nice. Does look nice indeed. Let's get a closer look. Nice cannons. Okay. Looks like that right there may just do the trick. That's going to be our next task. We are going to take this over and see if we can't change the mind of uh, Allah down there. So that's where we'll leave it for right now. Next time we pick up, we are going to take our ship. Is that like an ostrich? It is. Very cool. All right. Let's see if we can get the ostrich in the picture. Nice. All right, so that's where we'll leave it. When I pick up later today, we will go and we will see if we can't defeat the Corsair and get his load of children back too. So we'll see you then. Hope you've enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.